Super Final Wars almost had tears in his eyes. He was about to cry, but he couldn't. He tried so hard not to. Remember, son. Protect the world. Keep the balance in nature. And don't worry. My friends, my family, guide you through your journey. Your journey was only just beginning. The road ahead may not be easy for you, my son, but it will be a journey of a lifetime. Sir Forrest could help to smile, but he was confused on what, what his parents meant by his journey was only beginning. By following up the next day, day, everything was going peaceful. Everything was peaceful now. G Force is leaving to Final Wars and his friends alone. As well as Marley. The whole world is leaving Marley alone. Well, it's leaving Paradise alone. And Armin, in a way, kind of got his wish for world peace. But still, Sir Farwas was wondering, well, what did his parents meant by his journey was only beginning? No one noticed that he was being quiet. A little too quiet. Everyone was just having a good time. So far as decided to leave again. This time he was just going to go to Infant Island. He needed to get information out of Mothra. So the way his parents said that his journey was only beginning gave him a bad feeling about something. He let Emma know, and she understood. But she was very confused on why Sir Firewalls was in a hurry to get to get Mo to Mothra's island. It took long for him to arrive to Mothra's island. When he arrived, Mothra welcomed him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thank you. Um, Mothra, I have a bit of a question for you. Oh? What is that question? Okay, so last night I kind of actually had a little bit of a dream. In that dream, I saw my parents, my mom, 
dad, you know, the whole thing. But we were, they were talking to me for a little bit, telling me on how proud I am, on how proud they are of me, on well, protecting the world, protecting the balance, and all that stuff. But then my father mentioned that my journey was only beginning. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm supposed to get quiet for a moment. Two fireworks noticed. Mothra, come on, tell me. You've been like a royal advisor to me for all these years. Come on, I need to know. What's going on? Alright. A long, long time ago, before your parents got married or even had you, there were, there was two great Alpha Kites that rivaled your mom and your dad. One was Death Ghidorah, well was it? Kaiju by the name of Death Ghidorah, but his actual name goes by David. David, huh? Mm hmm. Keep going. And there was another Ghidorah there. His name... was Lucas, or better known as Legendary Ghidorah. What about them, exactly? Well, you see, the thing is... This happened years ago. David and Lucas were a severe threat to your parent. They were just dangerous. They battled your parents for years. What's going to tell one day G-Force decided to help your parents out and put them into an Antarctica. An Antarctica. That's why I always get a bad going every, every time I swim past that the frickin' frozen wasteland. Yes. And remember that Aaron jo kinda joined David's army? Wait. He joined their army? Both him and Zeke. But by now, you know, their army, well, David and Lucas' army almost went back to the Hollow Earth. You have got to be kidding me. Mm hmm. And when, and when your father said that your dream was only beginning, something tells me that David and Lucas are going to wake up. They're going to resume their plans on challenging Jamie, your parents, for the world's key monsters. But my my dad was killed in a way by a destroyer, and my mom was killed by Aaron's father. Exactly. But if they find out that they have a son, they're not going to hesitate to challenge you, the world's alpha. I see. Oh. 
How long were they in in the Arts Cup? Ever since 1991. Ever since 1991. It's when my parents. right before my parents got married. Mm hmm. But like I said. When your father said that, most likely. I mean, that David and Luke's are gonna wake up. They're wishing you the best of luck to take him down. Or to take the two of them down. Don't worry. When they arrive, I'll be wearing ready. Trust me, Super Final Wars. It's gonna take a lot more to take David and Lucas down. I've seen their destructive power. Once when they find out that your parents are gone, they're not going to hesitate to challenge you. Most likely kill you. Just so they can become the Alpha. Like I said, they ever show up, I'll be ready. Other unknown threat that I have heard about? None. Not at the moment. No. Well, oh, good. It's all I came for. I'll see you later. Sir Farmer's left. Mothra only wished him good luck when it came to fighting. With David and Lucas. For now, things are still quite peaceful and calm. So things might be a little calm for now. Until the time comes for David and Lucas to wake up. When they wake up, they're not going to hesitate to challenge Super Final Wars and try to take his role as Alpha. It took long for Super Finals to arrive back home. Everyone asked, asked, why was he gone for so long? The only thing that Super Finals could reply was, I'll tell you later. Right now, let me just go and spend time with my girlfriend, okay? Jeez, guys, that's like I was gone for like five years. When Super Fire Wars arrived back home, and I welcome him back. Welcome back, honey. Hey. So, did you figure out what Mothra had said? Or why you were gone? Eh. She just told me to be aware about two very powerful kaiju. So, yeah, that was all. Alright. But you know, there's no harm for you to be honest with me. Okay, 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 honey. 